Another day and another truck stop, and here I am with Mr. Truck, and this time, Kent, you've got an F-250 and you've got your own trailer back there. And on this episode, we're gonna do something very special that's becoming very popular. Tell us about it. We're gonna take this new F-250 and retrofit it to Autoflex air replacement suspension. Coming up next on the Fast Lane Truck. Kent, zero to 60 in the F-250. What's under the hood? This is a 6.2 Ford Gas V8. So no diesel? No. Do you know how much horsepower <laughs> you're putting out? Not exactly. It's probably a number I should have looked up. <laughs> I will right, we'll it. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure it's close to 400 horsepower. Yeah, uh, torque. But horsepower, I think, is less than that. But yeah, we all, we'll, we'll find out because I should have looked it up. Yeah, that's right. We'll font it. So let's do 0 to 60 without a trailer, without the air suspension, so that we can compare it to uh, doing it with the air suspension after you have it installed. Right. That'd be very interesting to see if there's a difference between the two. Yeah, go for it. All right, here we go. Got some good power for basically a heavy duty pickup. There comes 50, and there's 60. All right, not bad, not bad at all. So how many seconds was it? Uh, I'll show you here. That was uh, 12.37. Okay, that 12, sounds normal. 12.37 <laughs> seconds, up at a mile above sea level, so that's not bad actually. And I didn't yeah. see like we were getting any um, hop from the rear wheel. No, no, it no. felt pretty good. Now we probably need a little more horsepower and power to get crazy with it. So let's see how long it'll take to stop because let's face it, towing is all about stopping. Yes, so indeed. Take it up to sixty. Okay. And when you reach the cones, lay on the brakes. Yep. Now we do have ABS. Yes, we will get some shutter out of it. So we'll get some shutter. Make sure you're doing 60 when you hit those cones. 60 right now. All right, here we go. Here come the cones. Lay on the brakes. That stopped pretty straight. <laughs> that was good. Yeah, that was good. All right, let's measure how long that took. All right, we're going to do it the old-fashioned way. We've got the wheel. We're going to go to the middle of the window because that's really where you hit the brakes, at the middle of the window when right. you hit these cones. So let's find out. Set to zero. Here we go. Here we go. to see with air suspension if it does better. Yeah. All right. We got both brakes are working the way it looks. Yeah. What's the verdict? Right it looks like 143. Is that what you see? What's the tenth say? 143 and and uh, point 143.2. 143.2. Okay. So next time we do this, we're gonna have air suspension on the F250, and that'll be. Interesting to see if it's longer or shorter. Shorter, yes. Yeah, yeah. That'd be great. All right. Now there's something interesting. If you look really closely, you can see the dark striation in the skid mark. Basically what's happening is the ABS is pumping the brake and the tire is releasing and grabbing and releasing and grabbing to keep the wheels from locking up. ABS at work right there. Gosh darn it, Kent, this is science, so we're going to do this <laughs> run again. It was just over 143 feet, but, you know, it's human error, right? We're not machines, so when you hit those brakes, it might be different this time. So we want to do 
it again and then average it out between the two. Exactly. That's a good way to do it. So, uh, you know, yeah, get more precision. Exactly. Science. We're all about so science we are. here. We're the mad scientists here. And I guess <laughs> somebody's <laughs> calling the mad scientists. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's do it one more time. Okay, I'm 60 ready. 60 to zero. Take it up to 60, and when you hit those cones, hit the brakes. And I'm getting ready for my eyeballs to pop out of my head. And, uh, yeah, let's see if it stays pretty flat and neutral. Last time I did, I, I, I suspected it was the same thing. Right. The longer track, I'd probably use cruise control, but then kick that pretty steady. Right? Yep, here we go. Here come the cones. Oh, oh that was much longer. Interesting, that was much longer. So was it from the heat from the brakes, or do you think it's something else? You know, I don't know. That's a good question. Good thing we're averaging it. Let's measure it. Yeah. Well, Kent, that time was certainly much longer. You can tell when we get up to the truck where the cone is, and that's where the truck stopped last time. That marked the front of the truck. Now that cone marks the back of the truck. So right. we're looking at at least a truck length longer. and. You can see the skid pad, the skid marks. I don't know why that is. It could be the heat. It could be the fact that we're doing it a second time. So the last time was 142.3, and this is 162.7. 162.7, so 20 feet longer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And the length of the truck. The length of the truck, yeah. I think, boys, one more test we have to do. We have to do a solid cone test. I've got the camera mounted underneath the bed of the truck so you'll see how much it's swaying. Let's set up the cones and kind of have you go through them and see how much sway we get. All right, to keep this as precise as possible, we're going to measure them uh, about 100 feet apart. So the cones will be about 100 feet apart. So both runs with the regular suspension and the air suspension 100 feet apart. Let's see how it does. Let's measure it. Well, what speed should we hit it at? Well, what in the past we've done it at 45 and 55. I'm thinking we should be able to do it at 50 miles an hour is, is what I'm thinking is how it'll come out. 50 miles an hour it is. Here we go, we're about to hit the cones. It's a little spooky in a big pickup like this. Oh, she's swaying a lot, Kent. <laughs> Are we out of control? <laughs> There's a lot of sway. There's a lot of sway. That's yeah. all I can say. And that's with the rear anti-sway bar. This has an anti-roll bar on it, which would be dramatically worse if we didn't have it. I'd really be keen to see what it's like when we do it with, with the air suspension. It should be a dramatic improvement, but we will find out. All right, Kent. So now we know how high the light beams are. We also know how much squat the F-250 has. We know how fast it goes from zero to 60. We know how fast it stops from 60 to zero. And we know how much it sways, which is a lot at 50 <laughs> miles an hour. And that's with the standard leaf springs. So the next episode is a fun one, right? It's when we go and exchange the leaf spring for the air suspension. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do next is put the Autoflex air suspension, a complete replacement air suspension. There will be nothing factory left back there, uh except for the frame. And we'll run these exact same tests again and see if the numbers come out better or worse. As always, this is Roman and my newfound trucking friend, MrTruck.com. Kent, <laughs> saying thanks for watching and come back for episode two. You are a shameless self-promoter, Kent. I am sorry.